Greetings YouTube, my name is Inquisitor Ozono Nobula and welcome to my channel. Uh, today is Sunday, June 30th, 2019, 10.41 p.m. Um, <coughs> excuse me. I still haven't uh, start or resumed Let's Playing yet. I'm, I have three solid state uh, external hard drives. They're one terabyte. They're by uh, Samsung, Samsung T5. Uh, I'm waiting until I get at least one or two more hard drives. The goal was to get like three really good hard drives, either uh, SanDisk or Samsung. <clears throat> three or four and then to get uh, a few uh, cheap ones or just regular two terabyte hard drives because every western digital that I've tried aside from the uh, external hard drive every, every external hard drive or western digital that I tried except for the one I currently use <clears throat> the write speed isn't fast enough uh, Seagate their hard drives their two terabyte hard drives are pretty good. Uh, well, they work. Well, should, I say, should I say the write speed is sufficient for my capture card? <coughs> Excuse me. So I, I was going to stock up on those. I was going to get like six of those, but then I, but I kept reading online and I got a little paranoid because they said that uh, Seagate external hard drives, they uh, they have a tendency to, uh, even though they're faster than a lot of Western Digital external hard drives, their failure rate is higher. So they're more likely to to give out on you. So I was worried about that and I was like, okay, well let me just get a bunch of solid state hard drives, at least three or four. <coughs> because they're supposedly like way better and they last longer and and they're more reliable and, you know stuff like that. So while I was doing that, well, I just did that right there. And I was about to buy two hard drives, two two uh, Seagate external hard drives, and just resume Let's Play. But then I was bit by the bug of inspiration, <laughs> and I started to realize something that that I kind of put on the back burner for a while, and that was that uh, I needed to get back my 360 games. I still have most of my 360 games. It's just <clears throat> I traded in a few years ago, you know, just not for cash but just for like other games or whatever and uh... yeah I, I was the kind of person that never traded in my games you know back you know when the seventh generation was alive and well because i was like well i could always get stuff on amazon cheaper anyway if i just wait wait a few weeks or a month or two <clears throat> so but but, but I, I did actually break down and or buckle down whatever you want to call it give in and trade in a few of my games and even then, there were games that were on my to-buy list that I never actually got around to buying. And <clears throat> so that's what I've been doing now. I figured now is a better time than any, especially since I'm doing, since my, since I'm trying to focus my Let's Play efforts on just shooters for a while, for years, I guess. <clears throat> I'm not giving up on adventure games. It's just... Uh, I played a lot of annoying ones, or I've let's played a lot of annoying ones, and I'm like, you know what? That's enough. Let's just do shooters. <laughs> Something that's a little more straightforward. But even then, I've ran into my fair share of annoying or uh, shooters, <clears throat> especially since I've been trying to do stealth action. But yeah, I, I, um, I, I was bit by the bug of inspiration, and I was like, let me just buy back all of my 360 games and all the ones that I that I've been meaning to buy for the longest time now and I've been just collecting I, I, I purchased about a few weeks ago I purchased like 37 Xbox 360 games for like like 220 or 230 and that was a pretty good deal right there <coughs> and there are a lot of games that are just like highly robbery in a good way as far as deals like just a literal steal of a deal. I bought some games for like four ninety nine, five ninety nine on eBay and Amazon, or like three or four dollars free shipping. Like this is this is good stuff. It's real good stuff. I, I just bought um, 
uh, <coughs> Rainbow Six uh, Vegas for like four ninety nine free shipping, and Rainbow Six Vegas two for like I think it was like a dollar twenty nine cents with like three ninety nine shipping. Just good deals. <coughs> so yeah, I was thinking like, well, since I'm doing shooters now. Why don't I just buy all of the shooters, as well as all the other games? But it, you know that I've been meaning to buy, but especially all the shooters from the sixth generation. And why don't I just, well, from the seventh generation? And why don't I just start let's playing them in December? But I kind of gave in, and I was like, well, you know what? Let me start. maybe I should I should do it now. I was just I was just excited. So what I'm gonna do <coughs> after I purchase the rest of my games um, I should be done by that I, I should be done with that before the end of July or before August then I'll buy another Xbox 360 just for let's playing or for, back, for, uh, for backup <coughs> and I'm going to start attempting to try and let's play every uh, shooter from the 7th generation and not because I'm I'm tired of the sixth generation. It's mainly because a lot of the games from that generation <coughs> are kind of short or a tad easier, I think, than some of the games from the sixth generation. Or maybe it's just me. But uh, I really think I, I really think I could uh, I could do that right there, and not permanently. <coughs> I was thinking maybe do a year of like shooters. Hopefully I don't get burned out. I mean, we'll just have to see. But uh, if I if I get burned out, I'll just take a break or something. I'm not going to do adventure games for a very long time. <coughs> but uh, yeah. So what I've been doing since my last update video, uh, just playing games, uh, just doing some non let's play gaming. And I've been playing a lot of 360 games, and I've been buying a lot of 360 games. And then my my Let's Play gears, or whatever you want to call them, they've just been been grinding. I'm, I've been thinking, like, man, like I could I could easily buy all of the shooters, or most or most of them. You know, the good ones, or, or the good ones and the bad ones, or just most shooters, at least 98 percent of console shooters. <coughs> Excuse me for for the seventh generation and I'd be good and then I could just work on let's playing them and uh I think I could actually beat most of them or successfully let's play most of them as well uh maybe not all of them especially not in one year but I think I could probably do at least 50 or more a year and after like a few, like a year or two, I'd be done with that right there. But I was, I was thinking about doing like one year 360 shooters, the next year, or or, or seven gen, seven gen shooters, then the next year six generation shooters, something like that. And uh, that's what I think I'm gonna do. I was gonna wait till December, but I'm, I'm just too excited, so I'm going to start. As soon as possible, I will finish up my let's play for Alias. I have a bunch of a few stealth games that I've let's played so far from the sixth generation. I think I'll hold on to those and just bury them somewhere <coughs> and upload those later. Cause I'm in the middle of a list already from the sixth generation of uh, stealth games. I have Alias, Splinter Cell, the Great Escape, Mission Impossible, Spy Fiction, Golden Eye, Nightfire, and Oneless Forever. I'm just going to finish Alias and then pause on the 6th generation and just, you know, go to the 7th gen and just, <coughs> you know, whatever. But when I do 7th gen, it's not going to be like 6th gen where I do like Stealth Action Month, uh, uh, Squad Base Month. I don't want to do that because it's, it, I think the 7th gen isn't varied enough for that. I mean, it is, and it. I think there's there there's more regular first and third person shooters than there are like squad based games or stealth based games. I mean, because how many games from the seventh gen really have stealth in them? 
except for like Hitman and Splinter Cell. I mean, there are a few games that have stealth segments, but how many stealth games are there really for like the 360 and PS3? It's got to be under 10, I think. I mean, uh, it, shooters. <coughs> I mean, the only ones I could think of would be, well, just stealth games, period. I could think of Dark, which is a vampire uh, action-adventure game, or whatever you want to call it, action game, and that, that focuses on stealth very heavily. There's Splinter Cell, there's like three of those, so that's four. And then there's Hitman Absolution. And then there's uh, um, Vampire Reign, which... Uh, I don't even think it's a stealth game, but you know you, you use stealth quite a lot in that game. So I, I'm not going to really <coughs> have it set up the way have my let's play list set up the way my sixth gen list is set up. If anything, I'll set it up to like okay, this month I'll do low budget or very low budget shooters. This month I'll do you know slightly high quality shooters, and then this month I'll do big budget shooters like Call of Duty and Gears of War <coughs> and that's another thing that, you know um, now that you know the 7th gen is uh, is you know past us or now that we're past it <coughs> now I, I feel comfortable with buying all the Call of Duty games and the Modern Warfare games and the Halo games and attempting to let's play them I didn't want to you know do that or be in that crowd or whatever back when when they were popular but now that people have moved on now's my chance to just you know swoop in like a thief in the night swipe up all those games play them let's play them <coughs> excuse me and just and just be done with it and and then now some games that I won't be let's playing or maybe that I'll hold off on until like later will probably be the RPGs like the Borderlands and the Mass Effects and the Fallout 3 and New Vegas and stuff. Yeah, they're good games. They're great games. But I think I'm going to hold off on... <laughs> I think I'll hold off on those. Because right now, uh, or when I get started, I want to do just like your average shooter. Uh, something just like, you know, 5 to 10 hours or whatever. And there's... A, there are a ton of those from the 7th gen. And that's what I'm hoping. I'm hoping, I'm hoping I can just knock out a ton of those games and <clears throat> at least seven or eight a month if not more and you know within a year have like at least a quarter or maybe half of the seventh gens uh shooters let's played and on my channel because you know me i love shooters i am a fanatic when it comes to my shooters when it comes to gaming period but especially when it comes to my shooters so that's my goal. That's my goal. Hopefully by excuse me. <clears throat> before the end of August I should I should be uh let's playing seventh gen games. I mean I feel like I, I, I kinda feel like I'm cheating a little bit, like I haven't really paid my dues because like there's so many games I like I wanted to to just do as much as I can do for the sixth gen. And then you know, go to the seventh gen. You know, like I wanted to show like some evolution on my channel by starting with the sixth gen first, then the seventh gen. But I realized I don't have to do that right there. I I, I could do both, and you guys can see the difference yourself, <coughs> or whatever. You know, so you know, I I I'm just going to do it like that, and and also like the list of games that I want to let's play for the 6th gen is kind of larger than the list of games I want to let's play for the 7th gen so I'm thinking let me do the 7th gen for, real quick because I already have 90 90 plus 6th gen let's plays on my channel so I'm like let me just do what I can do <coughs> on the 7th gen now let me just let me just see how far I can go. And then I'll come back to the 6th gen. Because I figure, like, I can show the evolution of gaming 
you know, where that start with the six gen first, or or the evol evolution of shooters, and and then you know, I, I can show the evolution, not really, that, not really the evolution, but you know, like it, it is, it doesn't matter, <clears throat> it doesn't matter. Like e either way, I'm doing shooters, you know, and I figured since my list. I don't know. I I don't know if my sixth gen list let's play list is longer than my seventh gen let's play list, but I do know this much. I like games from the seventh gen are kind of easy, not not too easy, but a lot, a lot less. In my opinion, a lot less hassle-free than games from the sixth gen. That's just what, that, 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 that's just what I think, because I I've played a lot of them and most of them are just straightforward. You know, they are challenging and there's, you know, some challenging parts and not they're not to be taken too lightly, but for the most part they're not really as hard or as meaty or whatever you want to call it as the shooters from the sixth gen. <coughs> and then like I say, you know, it it doesn't matter. Like I, I can still show the evolution of shooters, you know, whether I start with the sixth gen first or the seventh gen first. And uh so yeah that's that's what I'm gonna do. That's what I'm gonna do. So yeah, uh somewhere or s sooner or later I have to finish my let's play of alias. Once I'm finished that game, then I'll move on to uh the seventh gen and start let's playing. But uh until next time guys, some cause eyes on the overlips and take care. Uh can't wait to see you guys uh on the seventh gen. And uh yeah, just show you guys uh, I don't know. I just can't wait to get back to less playing. So uh take care.